<clears throat> Good morning, brothers and sisters. Doug White down here in Alabama. Peace and love to everybody. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Welcome everybody that's tuned in. Uh, pick up on what I was talking about yesterday. Uh, brothers and sisters, two and two is not four, and the Bible is not true. If, if the last man standing, if uh, the temple was des was destroyed in and around 70 AD, what are, what are the these things question? What is the these things question, brothers and sisters? That question was answered in the first century, brothers and sisters. <clears throat> and uh, it occurred. The temple was torn down. That's what part of the these, these things question. The uh, sacking of Jerusalem, <clears throat> the uh, what we know as the Great Tribulation, brothers and sisters. Like I say, two and two is not four. The Bible is not true. And we're just living in a... Well, we're just uh, in some kind of video game. <laughs> and, uh, it, it, you know, what I'm trying to say, brothers and sisters, is uh, we just have to abandon all logic if we ignore this this uh, truth. What do we even uh, go with? Why go any further? It's kind of like over there in uh, Joshua where he commands the sun to uh, stand still in the midst of heaven. We have to use our head for something beside a hack rack. So, so I'm just putting it out there real clear. <clears throat> the last person standing, Jesus said, this generation shall not pass. You can't get around it, brother and sister. Well, and he also said, all the, the righteous blood, I look over there, you'll see it, <laughs> will be required of this generation. These are the days of vengeance. So, brother and sister, I'm telling you, Look into it <laughs> closer, because we've been told a story about this, uh, about the uh, the so-called Great Tribulation. Now, the resurrection has not occurred yet. That's the last question on the uh, on the uh, the Olivet Discourse. That's what they call it, the Olivet Discourse. Jesus said, uh, uh, they they said, and the end of the world. But all your scholars try to say, no, that was the end of the age. Well, uh, it was uh, the end of the age in a sense because the temple was torn down and, uh, and he came in power. He revealed himself in the heavens and they looked up and they saw a sign. But all that was fulfilled, brothers and sisters, in the first century, in and around 70 AD. Don't know exactly the time. Not necessary. But we know that is in our past, brothers and sisters. And uh, that was the these things question. Now, the end of the world question, there was three questions there. That has not occurred yet. The resurrection of the dead, the consummation of all things, the... Uh, Heaven and earth passing away. He called it that just uh, because he knew some of these theologians were going to change it to the end of the change the end of the world to the end of the age. So he called it heaven and earth. So we couldn't get around it. When the heaven and earth passes away, then it's it's over with. Say. The very last day. So I just want to come and reiterate uh, and try to p make it a little bit clear. Every time I hang up, I think of something else. But no, two and two is not four. If we're going to go that route, two and two is not four. The Bible's not true. We might as well just all go home and forget about it. Because, you know, eat, drink, and be merry, tomorrow we die. You know, we're, we're, in a, we're just in a Petri dish. We're just a, no, I believe the Bible is true. Jesus said what he, what he meant. He told his disciples. He would have said, brothers and sisters, he would have said, don't worry about that. Uh, you know, this temple being, tw that's going to be 2,000 years later. Don't worry about all these th these things. It's going to be two. No, he said, this generation shall not pass away. Then he told, uh, he said, uh, all this is going to fall on this generation. All this, 
the blood of all these righteous uh, prophets, all his, uh, of all the prophets would fall on this generation, brothers and sisters. So I can't make it any clearer, if I, you know, than this. The, the great tribulation that we have been fed on television, people are making, selling books and making money, is in our past. Nothing else fits in this portion of his view. Most old boy down here in Alabama. Nothing else fits. And uh, if you were writing a letter, let's go to this other thing about the man of sin. He wrote, uh, Paul wrote a letter. Uh, let's go to this other subject. This is another one. He wrote a letter and he told about this man of sin that everybody seems to think is out in our future. But he said he was talking to the Thessalonians, not to us 2,000 years later. He was talking to the Thessalonians. If you wrote a letter to somebody, uh, would you be trying to trick them and, and, and say, no, well, you know, just disregard this letter. It's going to really happen 2,000 years from now. No, that man of sin was in a temple that was still standing. See, brother and sister, because he's told me, he says, don't you remember when I was with you, I told you these things? How clear can you get? So Paul was talking to his audience, the church at Thessal Thessalonian church. See? That's who he was talking to, brothers and sisters. And so these things that I'm bringing up here are proof that the Bible is, is true. See? It's proof, you know, it's, well, there's historical facts to, to back them up. But that man of sin is dead and gone, brothers and sisters. We don't have to worry about him. Uh, we live every day like he could come at any moment in, in time. No man knows that hour. He said it's like a thief in the night. Uh, he gave a ballpark figure for when, uh, for when these events were going to take place. Uh, this generation shall not pass. These, these things, events, like the temple being torn down, he gave a ballpark figure on that. But on the other question of the end of the world question, brothers and sisters, he said nobody knows that day it's going to be like a thief in the night. See? And that's how he'll come, totally unawares. And he, and he put it out there, the man in a far country, so he could come at any time, so don't, so you be living right. They told his servants to live right because you don't know when he's gonna come. Don't be beat, don't be, be being unkind because he could come at any moment, say. The, uh, the, uh, end of the world, the very last day, the resurrection of the dead, that has not occurred yet. In, in this old center's view down here in Alabama, hadn't occurred yet. And that's the proper way, I believe, of deciphering, of, uh, Discerning <laughs> Matthew 24. Although all this knowledge is not necessary, if you know, all that's necessary for me would be for my peace of mind, but it's not necessary to get you to heaven because it's all by the grace of God and His wonderful, wonderful love for His people, brothers and sisters. So I hope I can or I put everything out in it, but let me think of something else. <clears throat> let me say it again Jesus' audience was uh Jesus audience was the uh uh Jesus audience was the disciples brothers and sisters and uh, he would he would have said oh that's going to be 2000 years later he wouldn't be trying to deceive them so I'll get out of here on this little video and I'll bring you one later on I'm probably going to think of something else to try further uh put it out there where no the uh, bible's not true if this were, if somebody or somebody lived two thousand years, say, if and somebody's still alive two thousand years later, say, that can't be true. Say, two and two is not four, and I, uh, we we can't use any logic when we uh, try to understand something in the Bible. But uh, because uh, uh, anyway, I'll get out of here and uh, make another one here in a few minutes. Peace and love, Miss Old Boy down here in Alabama.